Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Kevin Toll Reads. So today I have my third video in my Saturday short series. I can tell you I'm excited. This is definitely becoming the present every week for me because I really look forward to this. I really enjoy the short stories. I have two today. One that was good and one that was great. I really enjoyed and so we're going to start out with what was good. And so, since you don't know what either one of these are, the first one is from Joe Hill in his 20th Century Ghost Collection, published in 2002. And the story I chose for this one is called Last Breath. And so, this one is about 15 pages in length. It's kind of horror suspense in terms of theme. Brief summary, you have... Dr. Allinger, who is this very tall, gaunt, kind of lurchy character, and he meets in his museum a man, woman, and their younger son, and he meets them and gives them a guided tour of his museum. Well, his museum uh, revolves around the last breath that he hermetically seals and uses an aspirator when he's there at the time of people's death and captures their last breath in these jars, which he affixes kind of a stethoscope, which he calls a deathoscope, and you get to hear their last breath. Well, breaths don't really have anything to really say other than maybe just a sound, but upon listening to these, apparently the person listening can interpret their own, uh, they come to their own interpretation of what their last breath is. And in some um, of these, like you had one for Poe, you had one for Rodal, that maybe they say something that you can interpret. And so it's very interesting. And obviously this family, which I found very unique and what makes this a good short story was the fact that you don't really get their names, but you get this family dynamic nonetheless. The boy is obviously like, oh, this is great. I can't, you know, he wants to run and check out everything. He's very eager. The man is kind of like, you know, keeping the peace, keeping it, you know, lighthearted. And the woman's the skeptic. I mean, she thinks the guy's awful. She doesn't trust him. And so that's, it, it creates this very interesting dynamic. And then obviously, you know, you have Dr. Allinger in the museum itself, and it's very creepy and mysterious and weird. And so I thought that was really interesting. And it, it's a 15 page short story. Um, so when it comes to uh, some of the things that make it good, it also had, it lends itself to some of the things I kind of dislike. But before I get into that list, you know, I really enjoyed the twist at the end. I thought it was very neat. I thought it was a nice way to kind of summarize or wrap up the whole short story i i thought one of the victims it was this beauty pageant purse girl from florida and there was a plane crash and she crawls through the the few the plane fuel and gets burned and her parents and friends that are on the plane with her all die and get eaten by alligators and so that was really interesting <laughs> um but as far as you know what i disliked i mean obviously again like it doesn't really fit. I've kind of find find myself in kind of my sweet spot for short stories is like the 30 to 60 page length. And so I think that really gives enough time to really develop a character enough for you to kind of enjoy them. Plus flush the story and plot out enough and create enough twists and dynamics to where you, you find it more engaging. And so I, I, I thought this was good. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 in terms of my rating. It's not long enough towards an investment where you're going to be like, hey, I wish I would have had those three hours of my life back type thing. So 3.5 out of 5 for Last Breath by Joe Hill. The second short story I read this week is from John Grisham, and it's from the Ford County stories. And thanks to Dr. Logan at Novel Insights for putting me on to this book. I picked out the short story Casino in here, and this is about 39, 40 pages. I really enjoyed this one. It takes place, uh, all these stories take place in Ford County, Mississippi. This one's in Clayton, uh, Mississippi, and it revolves around kind of the lives of two 
main characters. The first one being Bobby Carl Leach. He's kind of this entrepreneur, entrepreneurial guy with different business interests, kind of sleazy, shady, thinks he's bigger than what he is type thing. He's always seeing opportunities and angles and everything and reads the paper for land development and all this. And he has various entities and maybe things aren't always on the up and up, but he eyes the opportunity from a different county and the reservation that has a casino on it. And he sees an opportunity to maybe social engineer his way into opening the casino in um, his hometown. And so that's one kind of nugget of the story. But then the other one revolves around kind of like in the middle point revolves, revolves around Stella and Sidney Lewis and their marriage and how Stella is just a, feels like the marriage is very boring after two decades. She doesn't feel like Sydney, her husband is, is he's too vanilla. There's, he has no ambition. He does his job, comes home. There's not a lot of passion. She wants bigger and faster and shiny things kind of thing. And so her in doing so and leaving him creates this other dynamic. And lo and behold, because you know, you have small town type things, she runs into Bobby Leach. And so that's kind of the summary of how this kind of book evolves. And it's very interesting because a lot happens in these 40 pages. I really enjoyed the characters. Bobby Leach is, is, a, is a kind of funny character. I enjoyed the Stella Sydney characters. Sydney, as vanilla as he is, isn't vanilla. And you'll see when if you read this because it's good. I enjoyed Chief Larry, how he gets kind of bamboozled with... Uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby Carl Leach. I thought that was really interesting. There was one excerpt that I thought was really funny when they were describing uh, Bobby. They were saying he'd claim to be a midget if he could make a buck. And that kind of really is a great uh, summarization of his character. I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this one. It was great. I thought Grisham wrote this very well. Um, it just kept moving. And then even when I thought the middle, when we we moved from the main point of view of like Bobby Leach and his kind of casino story, and we picked up Stella and started talking about her relationship with Sydney, I thought, are, are we going to take a curve here and it's going to go weird on us? And it didn't. It, it has a purpose and it really keeps going. I, I was really impressed by this. So those are my two short stories for this entry into Saturday Shorts. I enjoyed them. You know, as I said, you're going to get some that are going to be okay. Some of them are going to stink. And you're going to have a lot of great ones. So I'm doing pretty good so far. Um, I'm really enjoying them. Like I said, I look forward to this every week. And I hope you are as well. Hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Be on the lookout later this evening. I will have my review of Sackett's Land. I will also be giving you an update on the wagon train. Because I've got some interesting things to tell you about that. So stay tuned. Thanks.